Bicycle, bicycle, I want to ride my bicycle. Hello, Booktube. I fell off my bike. So, instead of interrupting one of my other videos to explain why I have all this, I decided, hey, I'll just do the bike book tag. My, my version of the bike book tag, I looked for it. I couldn't find it, so I made up my own. Uh, apologies if I'm just needlessly reduplicating or something like that. I'm, I'm an insignificant little footnote in the booktube universe, so I, I'm not worried about uh, trampling anymore. Yes, but okay. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, coming home from work because I I commute from I, on my bike. That's I'm a I'm a bike commuter, proud and proud and firm, and and that's where I get all my biking in. I. Uh, Went through some construction, tried to change lanes, caught a little lip, went <coughs> over, and that happened. So, let's, here's my attempt at a book tag. So, first question number one. The last book you read on your bike, and ah, you're thinking, hey, this guy, he was had the book in front of his face, that's why he fell off his bike. It's like, no, I am actually talking about audiobooks, because that's the, the joy of, of getting, of, of, uh, of, of my biking as I get to I get to listen to books as I commute and I usually have a extra bike I bike extra when I'm coming home just so I can get 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 more exercise get more more biking and more books so uh, the last book on my bike was the uh, Great Explorers the European Discovery of America by uh, Samuel Elliot Elliot Morrison and it's it's nice to be riding through all the wet and cold of uh, winter Victoria and hearing about the terrible sufferings of, of all those explorers and, and what they were going through and how me just pedaling and being a little bit wet was just nothing. And I got to enjoy a wonderful book at the same time. So yes, that was my, that was my last book on my bike. Uh, what's your most, question number two is, what's your most useful bike book? And uh, you'll see that in my see that in my thumbnail there it's zin and the art of road bike maintenance which um i probably could be it could probably be even more useful to me i still have a tendency to end up going to a bike mechanic because i'm a lazy sob but i'm also a poor sob so it's definitely good to uh to get even more more practical get more use out of this book and that's 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 definitely a goal in the future of of my bike, my bike career, and and you know my 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 probable plans of not ever being super super wealthy, and it's also just more convenient to to something about being self reliant on your bike, and uh, you know, so yes, Zen and the art of road bike maintenance, and lovely little echo there of Zen and the art of uh, road of motorcycle maintenance by Robert Persig, which I also love too. So two book two books in there for one. Uh, number three, what is your favorite bicycle book? And, uh, you know, I thought about Flan O'Brien, The Third Policeman, where he talks about people becoming like kind of a half person, half bike, you know, and I, uh, I, I, can, I, can, I can identify with that. I think there's something, if you become a bike enthusiast, you become a part of your bike. Your bike is a part of you. If something happens to your bike, you're like, oh my God, this is my entire world. And really it is my transportation. So I guess there is that. And, it's um, very connected to it. And it's all these simple parts. Um, but I think I went with uh, Dervil and Murphy in the end. Uh, it's Full Tilt, uh, Ireland to India with a Bicycle, which is uh, a kind of a diary. Is it, It's a collection of kind of diary collection or kind of letters to her friends about her journey to, from Ireland to India on a bike. And... Uh, Man, this is just like a, it's like a heavy, this is like 1964, this is a heavy, simple bike, but, you know, she makes it work, and it's actually surprisingly practical, and she's just a wonderful writer, but, and she also loves her bike. It's that relationship with a bike again, which I think is the, the thing that puts it up as my, one of my favorite bike books. Um... And number four, what are bike books you'd like to read? And I'm, I don't really have, like, nonfiction I'm books that... I, I, that particularly st stick out with me, probably half due to ignorance, but I'm like a sporty guy. I, I, I like, I like books that are like travel books or, uh, just, you know, lit books on bikes. Um, there's a lot, actually it's in interesting on all the number of people who've 
you use or bike enthusiasts or literature you got twain and uh, thomas hardy and um shaw seaman de bovier the all the kind of the the feminist feminist angle of bicycles it definitely came at that time when uh like kind of very first wavy i think first wavy feminism was coming up uh camus samuel beckett uh H.G. Wells is actually, I think, I'm going to pick at the moment. It's The Wheels of Chance by H.G. Wells. He's a, he's a writer. The more I read his stuff, it's like, ah, oh, I can see why this guy is somebody who actually lasted as a like, science fiction writer, but also just as, just as an interesting fellow who, who, who's, who's, who crafted some interesting stuff. So, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the H.G. Wells, The Wheels of Chance, which I think I can get out of the uh, Gutenberg thing and just download to this, this phone here, and that'll be, that'll be a fun, hopefully a fun read. Definitely an interesting read, regardless. Uh, and number five is me cheating, getting that magic number five question in, is your favorite bike movie? Which I kind of vacillate between, um, on the one hand, Premium Rush, which is a 2012, just silly, it's like the hacker of, hackers of bike movies, where Gor Joseph Gordon-Levitt is this, uh, is this a uh, bike courier and and like he can see almost like kind of like it's bullet time he can see all the different paths and different ways he could get around and so he he doesn't you know end up with any of this stuff because he's going through these big dramatic things it's not like he's some joker like me who gets a little construction on the lip and pfft, over and this is reality we are fragile beings and and i'm a middle-aged dude <gasps> pedaling away on my creaky cranky old bike and uh yeah and joseph gordon levitt is this young hotshot just zipping through traffic and it's like yes i I'll, I'll, that's the fantasy this is the this is the reality so i'll just have to keep that in mind uh and the other i kind of vacillate between you know that that fantasy and uh the a neo good neo realistic uh italian movie uh the bicycle thieves by uh, vittorio de sica which is um you know about this guy who he he finally he, it's like it's hard hard scrabble Italy post war and he finally gets a job but he needs his bicycle but his bicycle gets stolen and he goes through the whole movie trying to find the bike and it's super heartbreaking and it's super just like uh and yeah well that's that's that 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 kind of there's the fantasy of life and then there's the oh my god that that you know things could be that bad in in a in a life so those are the, those are the two the highs and the lows and I'm. I'm, thankfully, I'm somewhere in between. I fell off my bike. I'm fine. I still want to ride my bicycle and, you know, destroy my house. So, yeah. I want to ride my bicycle again tomorrow. Well, t actually, probably next time I go to work. Thankfully, I did this, so I got a weekend to let it swell and go down so I'm not such, I don't look s too much like a meathead when I go in on, on to work, you know, I guess it's just a good reminder that I am, I am, I am just fragile, fresh, flesh, bleh, fragile, flesh, and uh, also have trouble with alliterations. So you'll be seeing the shiner in a couple of more videos, but that's, that's my bike book tag. More videos later.